Hello friends, I'll show you a new image of mine. You see that? I have something to say about it. People like us who think, who know, who more or less guess, that the mask is not there to save you from an in infection. Uh, it's there to psychologically condition you to accept these measures as safety precautions to keep you alive and then slowly condition you towards harsher and harsher steps, ultimately to uh, to get you agree to do things that help a, a special interest group but doesn't help you. Some people call it a reset, global reset. Some people call it new world order, deep state, what not. Vaccine tyranny, medical mafia. Here's the thing. I've been told when I wear that kind of a mask, which I've actually not worn in public much, almost never, but when I wear it, it, it demeans, I should not be wearing it because I, I know that it's a, it's, it's a tool of, of oppression and I should not be wearing it. However, I make this video today for a purpose. I have come to realize that all these restrictions, arbitrary or not, are happening, are succeeding, and there is not much opposition to it. There is there's no sign that these, these governments that are imposing this are actually afraid and they might back off. There is no sign of it yet. Is because of one reason. Majority of the people buy this story that's coming out incessantly round the clock from every TV channel, every news outlet, every politician that you can think of, with the exception of very, very few, some. Uh, most doctors, health professionals that are talking against it are either retired and they cannot be fired anymore, or they are on a different line of work and not uh, dealing with uh, a profession that requires you to hold a license to practice medicine. And those that are still within the system are being shunted out, some will be losing their license to practice, and so on. So, why I make this video today is that I went out to two places. One is the bank to pay some outstanding tax dues, which the government keeps sending me, uh, 500 and something dollars I, ha I have to pay because of GST and HST tax exemption that I got, and that our family got, uh, which uh, we do not uh, deserve and therefore we have to pay it back. I went to the bank to do that. They apparently gave you all this exemption because of the hardships of COVID. And then they figured out if you are earning more than, I don't know, $40,000 a year or something, then you don't deserve it and then they want to take it back. I went to the bank and there was a notice outside on the glass door that said that mask wearing is recommended along with you know all other things, six feet difference, distance and all that. I put this one on particularly because it carried a message that this mask is as useless as my prime minister. When I went inside, I found that this mask served a purpose. First of all, the girl behind the counter, Tally, uh, it had a, a, a plexiglass uh, shield, a, a wall, a, a kind of a board, and she was not wearing really mask. And she found my this one amusing. And she said, I like that. And then it opened a dialogue. Now, this girl was young. She was Indo-Canadian from northern part of India, uh, from her features. I didn't ask her. And for a young girl of in her 20s, she seemed pretty smart. And she, uh, I, I, she said that, you know, this COVID restrictions and all that, 
Uh, I don't know. So I was asking her that is it mandatory in this ma in this building because you got a notice on the door. And she said, you know, you have human rights and individual rights and so on. So what I understand is they cannot make it mandatory per se. They recommend it. However, if you for some reason will not wear it and you still maintain six feet distance and all that, we are not going to enforce it and we will still serve you. I said, you are already behind a pixie glass, so you don't need to wear a mask and you are not wearing mask. She said, yeah, that's right. And, you know, I don't know whether all this is necessary. So I found a sympathetic ear and then I talked to her some, some, some more. And she said, you know, I didn't know anything about what was going on initially, but now I'm reading up. I'm reading up, I'm learning about it, and I'm conscious that this is a diabolical plan towards a, 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 an end that has little to do with uh, infection. And... And I was impressed. And then she was telling me, you know, the thing is, we cannot talk about it to everyone. We have to be careful who we speak with. She was right. If you talk to the uh, wrong kind of guy, they'll think you're an enemy of the people. They'll snoop on you. You might lose your job. They think that you are purposefully harming the community. You need to be in a mental asylum or a jail or something. So she is already beginning to get it. And she is only in her 20s. And she was from northern part of India. I had a very poor opinion of uh, Indo-Canadian immigrants here. Uh, she was not immigrant. She was born uh, here, I think. And then this comment brought out a lot of the others. I was the only male there. All the others were women and some of them were uh, investment uh, managers and so on who had their own little cubicles and booths and offices. They came out to take a look at... And, 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 and start, you know, giggling and asking comments. I found out that this feeling that this mask is an overdue, it's not necessary, it is being imposed for an ulterior motive, is beginning to filter out. Although they are not supposed to talk about it, and they might lose their job, in fact, if they, if they make a big issue of it, but they would like to get in touch with like-minded people because this is something that they have to face uh, for the rest of their lives, maybe. I'm old, I'm over 70, I'll be gone tomorrow. But they will be holding the basket for the rest of their lives. And this is what I feel is a positive out of wearing a mask with a message when you have to wear a mask. I would not have guessed that so many women folk in that bank, it was, I will not tell you which uh, branch because they might get into trouble. So many of them get it, even if they are hesitant to talk about it. And they are so glad that they came out with, they came with one customer who is willing to talk about it openly. My point is, if you have a strong message, when you must wear a mask or you don't know whether you have to wear a mask and you are only wearing it for five minutes and out, Maybe it has a purpose. The second shop I went to was uh, um, Subway to buy a sandwich. And there they had, you are required to wear a mask. They didn't have it before, but now they have it because British Columbia government has passed some bloody bullshit uh, dic dictat recommendation, whatever you want to call it. Now I understand that it's not mandatory because legally there's a problem of making it mandatory. So they are making it as mandatory as practical without making it mandatory. So this was there. I put this on and went inside and the girl there, also Indo-Canadian, told me when I asked about what is the law, I said, it's as mandatory as possible. You have your rights. But unlike the bank, they were not so sure. They were not that aware nobody told them all that kind of so they think that is kind of mandatory and if you and if you come in without a mask then they are obliged to ask you to stand outside while they make your sandwich and then they will go to the door and give it to you or you can order online sitting in your car with your handphone or something and then they will come out and give it to you but they will require you not to enter the shop with other customers in without a mask this is what they have been given, but they are not very sure because nobody has challenged them. And uh, I, I was the second person inside. There was another lady who came in after me, white lady, 
who also wore a mask. She didn't talk to me, but she read that thing and she, she heard me talking about it and she smiled. She was not hostile at all and she was curious and I, I had a feeling that if I told her, go ahead, take my picture, she would have taken out her phone and taken my picture, but she didn't do it because, you know, she didn't know if I'll get offended and all that. So, I take some positives out of this bleak scenario. People are beginning to get it. And there is, if you have to wear a mask, it is not maybe, maybe it's not a bad idea to wear a mask with a message rather than wear a mask without a message. That's my take for today. This is Tony Mitra. I'm sitting in my home in Delta, BC, Canada. And today is the 23rd of November, 2020. Thank you.